Hello and welcome to the Teaspoon. Today we will be finding out how to host a Factorio multiplayer server. So first of all you want to find out your local IPv4 address and your router's IPv4 address. So on Windows you can do this via hitting the Windows key and R. This will bring up the run menu. In this you type in CMD and then you want to type in ipconfig. This will show you your default gateway which is your router IP address and your local IPv4 address. So you want to copy that information or write it down. On Mac you can find out these two addresses via opening up system preferences and then you want to go to network and here you can see IP address which is your local IP address and the router IP address. So now you want to open up a web browser and in this you want to type in the router IP address or the default gateway as Windows calls it. Type it all in and hit enter. This should open up your broadband router. You will get a login prompt and in this you want to type in admin as your username and admin as your password unless your network manager has changed that or the default is different in which case you either want to contact your network manager or first of all I'd recommend looking into the manual and searching for the username and password. So once you're in your router this may vary although you want to find similar terms in your router name or just google this specifically for your router. So on this Comtrend Multi DSLCP router you want to go into advanced setup and here it is called NAT in some cases it might be called port forwarding, port triggering or virtual servers. So here I am in the NAT virtual servers menu. So I want to click add and I want to choose all interfaces. Otherwise if you choose only one of these interfaces then it may have issues. You want a custom service name which in this case of course will be Factorio and server IP address is where you want to put your local IP address. So mine is 33. External port start. For Factorio the default port is 34 19 7. This may be changed in the configuration file but I would recommend going with the default so you want to put it, that in external port start and external port end and also in internal port start and internal port end. Another very important setting here is TCP UDP as you want to have the most protocols enabled for the most compatibility. There we go, I have saved the settings. So now I want to find out my IP address. This IP address will be blurred out but that is for security reasons. Yours of course won't be blurred out. So you can do this via going into Google and typing in what's my IP address. This is a very handy tool and it just pops up here as you can not see for security reasons. 
or you may click on any of the links to find your IP address. So you want to copy that and on the end of it you want to type in colon and the port number 34179 and you want to copy this and send this to your friends that you trust so they can connect to your Factorio server. Now you want to open up Factorio. Oh, I've got it open up, that's handy. Press the play button, multiplayer, and you want a new game, or if you're loading up your old game, you want to load game. So I will be selecting new game, generate, and play. When you do this, a pop-up might come up on your desktop that you have your firewall active and whether you want to allow Factorio. It is very important that you allow Factorio and you make sure your firewall is not blocking it as that can be a common issue. Once you've done this, your friends may connect and they can connect like doing so. They go into play, multiplayer, connect to game, and here they paste in the link that you have sent them. If you have any issues with this, you may ask us in the comments below. We will try and help out as much as we can, if it will be possible. There will be a troubleshooting comment that will be the first comment by us with all of the troubleshooting we have encountered with solutions to it. More information may be in the description below, so make sure to check that out. And if you fancy having a look at our really fun Factorio multiplayer playthrough, the link will be here. So be sure to check it out. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.